pups good morning good morning i know that you know what it has been <clears throat> a minute since the upload because guys staying consistent is something else so um today i am going to go for something that my husband booked for me so hey akili would say when when i think on no yesterday as i was sitting um, the kids had gone out and then he had also gone out but in the morning he asked me something very like odd he's like yo baby uh so these things like when you when you go for your facials like well, how do they differ and i'm like i don't really know because uh not that i've never really been into facials but i've never really been for a facial the only thing that i've really been to is a massage you see she's like so all you saw you just like me you don't know how they work I'm like nah not really all i know is my home skincare routine he said okay all right no problem so about i think about after he left in the next i think three hours later i get a call from Avo skin it's a it's a it's a skin care um a clinic so and they asked they told me that i need to come in tomorrow to collect something that has been bought for me i'm like no i was even so rude to the guys like no i didn't buy anything why should i come collect anything when i know that i didn't buy anything see i'm having my hot chocolate yo this is so good hmm. so i'm telling this guy that you know what i don't order anything so why should i come collect anything when i know that i didn't order anything <laughs> So then he says, no, uh, your husband bought something for you. And I'm like, you said you're from where? And he says, Ever Skin. I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, two, three, four, five. Oh, my husband booked me for a facial. <laughs> I was like, guys, honestly, they're not bad, guys. I just like it. I just like it at all. When you get a chance, give it a chance. When you get a chance, give love a chance because you're really gonna find someone that's gonna be like treating you so well and going all out for you. Like it is so random, super random. Because I know that my husband has been complaining of that one, two, three, one, two, three blood. So I least expected him to actually book me a facial. You know, I'm like, oh wow, this is so thoughtful. I'm so happy. So I'm gonna. He's gonna stay with the kids. He said I should take myself out get pampered and maybe have like a solo lunch thing so that's what i'm gonna do today and then i need to shop for some like home stuff so i'm gonna go to i think i'm gonna leave from here and go to Menlin. and then after Menlin, i'm going to go for my appointment for my skin uh, key appointment of my facial radar so yeah after having my coffee i need to go clean in my studio yo it's such a mess I'm going to go clean in my studio and then um I'm, I'm obviously not going to be doing my makeup so after cleaning my studio i think i'm gonna mm, i need to do my hair i need to do my hair i had a pondo so it's all messed up by now so i'm like mm. so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to the studio uh, I think do my hair first and then tidy the studio meanwhile my hair dries and I have to fold up the laundry and then I've already washed the dishes and cleaned up a bit I have to make sure that the kids have bath so that I don't really leave my husband with too much work of feeding them giving them snack packing them because I know that Tula can be a hands full so actually now what I'm planning on doing is I'm going to get them in the bath to bath and then go tidy up the studio mm. and then um i can start my day because i don't really have much time i have to be at the clinic by one so meaning that i should at least be out of here by 10 if not 11 so that i can run my errands without rushing you know so yeah i'm so excited actually i'm looking forward to it i'm really looking forward to it because you know my husband always hears me complain i am such a i'd say skin perfectionist if i should put it if there's such 
a skin perfectionist who also doesn't who also, ha who also hasn't been for a facial but like i love my skin i take good care of my skin like ask my friends ask anybody you know that if i get a rash or pimple or anything on my skin if i start getting skin problems maybe because i'm pmsing change of seasons whatever the reason may be like i panic i get so mad like i i i would literally cancel on anything i would walk out on an event because i feel so uncomfortable i feel um i feel unease i feel like everybody's now seeing my skin problem you understand so i always say that you know what having a clear skin or having no skin problems is a very underrated blessing like you have to say god i thank you and also to the girlies that really have skin problems i'm like you know what um may you have courage to never really give up on your skin because i feel like we we get so many advices and if you can um get medical assistance like don't follow these trends on tiktok on social media hey guys one day i'm gonna do a story time about how i ended up in a dentist um having to do a procedure because of a trend that i followed on tiktok that was crazy hey it's medical expenses i didn't even budget for i had to get donations for my people <laughs> That was crazy, but um, what I'm saying is, um, I think we need to start pointing out, like, as people, we need to start, stop, stop, not start, stop, um, underline stop. We need to stop pointing out problem skin, people's skin problems. Like, um, I, 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 I get to feel or see how I feel whenever my friend tells me that, oh, your skin is now doing one, two, three, like, I get very insecure, I get very um, unease, I start having the need to constantly check myself in the mirror, you know? So I'm like, Ugh, no, you know what? We really need to stop pointing out that people have, but people really know and can see the problems they have. So the minute when I, you say that, um, oh, what is wrong with your skin? You think I don't see what's wrong with my skin? You think I don't know and I can't say that I have a problem with my skin. So why do you need to point it out? Like don't point out things you can't do anything about, things that you can't really help about. If you're gonna be asking about my skin, rather you come with um some form of solution because there's really no need for you to keep, like constantly remind me that I have skin problems, like oh I have a rash, I have a pimple, I have acne, I have like why do you even bring that up? Because you can't help me with anything. So I get to feel how unsettled I get whenever I get to have a skin problem. So my husband I think really noticed that I'm very skin cautious. Like um there was a time when we were supposed I think to go for dinner. <laughs> No, 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 I'm lying. There was a time we were supposed to go meet up with his friends. Like, a, it was like more of a couple thing. And then uh, I was like uh, reluctant on going because I felt like my skin is just not co like cooperating. So, yeah. So, you know, that. So, yeah, let me just go get ready, get the kids ready. And let me not waste more time. Thank you, guys so i am all done and this is what i'm wearing i'm wearing this sports bra from mr price sports i'm wearing this leggings from uh, ackerman no not ackerman's from pick and pay clothing and these shoes from ackerman's and i have this tote bag from ted baker and my vlogging kit so i am ready to go so i have just um filled up and um i'm done and we'll be driving to the skin clinic first before i go to the home the home way the reason being i think that should i start by if i happen to start by the home way first i might be late for my appointment um so knowing that the facials like won't really take that long i decided that i'll go to the home way just after i'm done at the clinic because it's like just close to each other so it's not far apart so yeah um what else
out oh what i like today also is that it's it's not a busy day it's so quiet on the road like it's very chill there's hardly a cars there's no traffic congestion there's no drama on the road so i'm like yo this is like the best day to actually do this because also like i get to mentally just like be so yeah so i'm going to play my music and then drive to my destination um, when I left I had to dodge through no, like yo she was just she just could see that ah this one is leaving me she's going somewhere and somewhere without me so you know how babies can get so like yeah so yeah I think I should be there in the next 20 minutes so yeah um, I'm quite happy for this, hey? I'm happy for myself. Do when you love this. I thought it make me feel better. I finally got you out my bed, but I still can't get you out my head. something to eat um, meanwhile I wait for my appointment time um, I'm not gonna grab anything hectic I'm just gonna order a sandwich and uh, coke I really feel like coke and then um, wait for my appointment time and then because I asked if is the meal gonna take very long they said no they don't take too long so I'm just I'll be just waiting for them and I think because I'm gonna eat I've just ordered and I'm gonna eat first I might be like five minutes late but I'm gonna call them to let them know if I'm running late but for now I'm still safe oh uh -uh. not me struggling to open this coke shop This was by far the quickest breakfast I've had. Yo. And I decided to take the stairs instead of the escalator. Just so I get there much quicker. Uh, yeah. So I'm heading to uh, the clinic. I don't know which way am I supposed to be going, but I hope I make it to the right place. I'm sorry I'm late and still getting to vlog. <laughs> How are you? This is Shaleen. Hi. This is so beautiful. So I am sitting here and waiting to be assisted. Uh, guys. I am so happy. Um, so she went to get some fresh warm water so that we can start the procedure. I don't even know what my husband booked, but I'm gonna ask him. But I think he said something about demo planning, of which I'm at least aware and familiar with. I normally some, sometimes do demo planning process at home. I think I even posted a shot of my demo planning process. 
So yeah, let's get into it. I don't really have skin problems. Don't skin, it stick to one product. African extracts. Mm -hmm. And then from Rayboss African extracts, I started using you know, that's what I'm using now. Tibeta mainly sunscreen. Okay. The serum. Yeah. Serum. Yeah. 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 Magnolia. Oh, okay. Yeah. Magnolia. Serum. Oh. Oh. I'm not playing by the rules They can't take me from my fool mm. Are you gonna ride with me? Pull me down, will you listen? Never lie to me This is all the sign I need So tell
So is it in form of a powder? It's in form of a powder. Okay. I'm, I'm sure you've seen it on TikTok or somewhere where they do it. They mix it with water. With water. Uh -huh. Okay. So then we're going to get the water. Is it also in the A C grade? Yeah, it is. Thank you. 
theory that the more you apply, So I'm finally done with my facial and these are the results. Look at the glow. Like everything about it was so good. Um, my therapist was so gentle. I loved everything. But as you guys have seen the whole procedure, it was straight to the point. It was so refreshing. I feel like my skin is breathing. Like have you ever done something on your skin and then you feel like like all the pores are open you see so and i love it and let's go to the homeware store so i'm now driving to the home um where store um where i'll be buying the things that i'm actually initially going to buy and yeah uh, and also my battery's dying like yo i am so mad I didn't take the cable with me, but anyway, we'll see how long it sustains me. Um, so I am back from um doing running my errands and doing my facial. Guys, I was really so nar that um my battery decided to die. Like I was so 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 bored. Like. I couldn't vlog what I had initially went to buy, like the thing that I went to buy, I couldn't vlog them because So yeah, anyway, so I decided to actually buy one item because I really wanted to vlog uh, in those particular shops so that I show you guys why I'm buying this and, and, and why I'm buying it here, where did I find it about the store, you know but because the battery just decided to die, like I was like, <sighs> literally. But anyway, I bought one item of which I am low key um, um, discouraged to unbox it, but not because it's something that I've really been wanting to buy for some time. So I'm just going to show you guys what I bought for today and then I think I'm going to make a day sometime next week or the week after uh, to go do uh, the home sh uh, home stuff shopping and then like unbox everything just like all at once but this one because I bought it today and then I'm just going to show you guys what I bought but otherwise guys I have been thanking my husband ever since I got here like oh you know what my skin feels like I feel like I am the girl, literally. So, I I got home, and then I went to chill in the studio, and um, what else did I do? Then I started cooking because when I got here, we had low shading, so it was like there was really nothing much that I could do. Um, so yeah. And what am I having? I'm having a cocktail. I made this cocktail, man. I'm still getting finished. From mixed berries and um, brittle fruit. I think it's a strawberry flavor. I added a bit of um, watermelon syrup, ice, and ice. But it's just so nice. Like, it tastes like I bought it from a restaurant. <laughs> So yeah, come see what I bought. So I saw these pods at um, Very Max store some time ago, and then guys, they were just a, a bit like too costly. Uh, the price was very steep. Um, so then I I really couldn't afford them. Then I'm really trying to open this thing. It's just I'm struggling. Oh. Okay, baby. So, um, well, I find I got, I managed to open. So, and then I have been been wanting to replace my old pots, 
but also with something that is good and pots that are specifically pcb i wanted pcb pots so and then i saw these when i really saw them when i saw them they were really expensive i don't want to lie like i felt like mm, do i really want to spend that 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 much on pots like now 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 <sighs> or like invest in better pots like later in the later stage but then uh, i think i think i i'm seeing this these ports um over four if not five months later at a different store they are they've literally just arrived at that uh store and then i the store was only in Mendlane and montana so i and colonnade mall so and then i called them to check if they still have in stock and then they said yes uh they actually have and then i went to get them it comes with this um envelope instructing envelope that has got all information about the ports how they work and guys i'm gonna tell you what these ports are so heavy like yo like these are super heavy i think the density also tell you can tell from um what do you call it uh, uh the base of the pot and then oh oops they um your no flame on side uh uh pots i literally just love how thick they are and the ratings i always check ratings on pots when i wanted to buy pots i really wanted pots that was so good i remember asking my friend about her pots because i really loved how her pots are and then uh the thickness and that they are non-sticky like any pot that is non-sticky for me is like the it for me and i love the thermometer reader on 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 the pods it's got a thermometer control so i'm still yet to test them but otherwise i am really really in love with these pots for the quality that i am seeing from them i was going through this thing with my husband and he was like you know what i am really happy like i am entirely happy i'm happy i paid the price that i paid for these pots also they still came so reasonable so these are the all the instructions that they are freezer safe but i don't know why would you want to put a pot in the fridge but anyway yeah they are freezer safe they save energy they are gas safe dishwasher safe electric um glass ceramic induction halogen thermal control healthy cooking and um inside you get this casserole with a lid nim i think it's about like a 14 centimeter you get a five centimeter frying pan with a lid this frying pan i think it's non-sticky but i'm still here to use them obviously um yeah it's non-sticky and then um i've got the 12 centimeter casserole um they two pots that shares one lid and then i've got the salad bowl with the pp lid and then i've got the zero in. i've got the 8.0 centimeter casserole with the lid and i've got the frying basket with handle a saucepan with lid and the heat mat so um I am really, 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 really in love with these parts. I don't want to lie. Oops. I don't want to lie. I would definitely still like to upgrade the next time. Um, whenever I can. But for now, I am really happy with what I have. There's these uh, heat mats. It feels a bit like steel. Of which I really love because then... We wouldn't have i think the previous tenant in um our place burnt the cupboard with a hot pot i don't want to do that anymore so i'm definitely going to be using these i had one previously but like mm, it has gotten rusted over the time and there's something that i think is also my favorite i i'm not sure what's this but yeah, I'll figure it out. There's something that I was showing my husband that this item, oh, the, um, this, you know, uh, 
um, obviously when you fry your chips, you're going to put your oil inside and then put this. I think I really love this. I don't know why I never uh, got into a shop and, bu and bought it. But the fact that you can strain your um, whatever you're frying. So for me, this is um, a bonus. And the salad bowl. these pots and this pot is so big it's super super big i am so i'm very happy i'm definitely very happy i'm going to unpack them to pack them in my cupboard i don't think today actually i'll see if i still have the energy i'll do it today if i don't then it's fine but yeah um, i i am really happy with the pots i for now Seeing, provided that I haven't cooked with them, the quality, how they look overall, I would really give them a 9 out of 10. Why a 9? Because I still think that I could do better and then I could get better pots going forward. But for now, I'm happy with whatever I have. So yeah, this is what I bought for today. And hoping to buy more items as time goes. I'm really, really, really getting obsessed with buying home stuff as of lately i am recording this live from my bed because city girl has been up <laughs> i am so tired i am so tired but um yeah well i didn't want to have this vlog carry on for like a good two days or even longer because i don't want to prolong it because i actually have different content in mind like um a good two three days vlog so i'm like I, I don't want to do the same thing like over and over so yeah um, this calls me uh we're calling this <laughs> end of the vlog thank you so much for watching and if you are a regular bump um thank you so much for staying here and then if you are new and you want to become a bump please subscribe to the channel thank you thank you so much guys for watching and don't forget to like subscribe and comment